Hello and welcome to another episode multiplayer hunting with me, Pratze, and with Fape. Hi guys. Hi guys. Uh, this time is going to be a little bit odd for us because, uh, as you know, we both are Germans, but we are going to talk English to each other just yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> Feels a kind of, kind of weird, but it's okay. So yeah. So um, we're just gonna give that a try, and there is lots of news that we can tell you guys. Uh, first of all, uh, there has been a, a huge update, um, which included the fox, the red fox that everybody has been waiting for. And um, yeah, uh, we are going to take a look at the fox also a little bit later in this episode, but. Um, yeah, first we want to uh, check out the feeder because we are here on uh, Fape's um, reserve and he has a feeder that has 100% attractiveness and of course we do not want to uh, <laughs> let this uh, opportunity s uh, slip by. Yeah, uh, if I could say something. Yeah. Um, I was today on the feeder to fill it up and I had 18 hogs around it so I think we'll be lucky there yeah he didn't shoot something though because of course uh, if he shot something when he was filling up the feeder then the attractiveness would be going to zero again so he didn't do that wisely enough <laughs> he uh, he didn't shoot it he uh, he kind of <laughs> his his trigger finger I don't know how did you do that I mean Looking I at 17 pigs, how did you not shoot? I, I mean didn't take a weapon with me. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> so, yeah, that means we have a feeder in your reserve uh, at 100%. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, let's uh, do this a little bit quickly. We have also a new weapon that you have in your hands there. It's a bolt action rival caliber 223, or maybe you call it. 223 I don't know but um, this weapon is mainly designed for a smaller game so mm -hmm. um, it is quite much um, yeah it makes a lot of sense to release it together with the Fox and um, this weapon is actually ethical for uh, the Red Fox of course coyotes um, roe deer and also turkey so there's a little bit of bird hunting also included mm -hmm. uh, with this new caliber and um, uh, Fape here has the wooden design or what is it called yeah I think it's a wooden design yeah he has the wooden stock um, I myself so you will have to switch to the channel of uh, Fape which is called what is it called Fape again the hunter LPs yeah, Fape piece, the Hunter LPs. I might blend in um, this information now in my video and of course also in the description you will get the needed uh, information about it. So uh, he's gonna look at, at the marble one from his perspective. Uh, so you can check out that one too. So we have two designs for this weapon which is really great I think. Mm -hmm. I'm really happy that they released um, this weapon because you know I think um, it was way too easy to kill a Rodia with a rifle and no and also of course coyotes and now the fox and now we mm -hmm. have a weapon that yeah is more chal challenging yeah and I think that the rest of the what we have to kind of um talk about um, to start with we can do it actually on our way mm -hmm. so um, but uh, well let's first maybe um, reload the weapon and um, also show the second weapon that we take with us so I will take the um, Parker Python with me I take the 3006 with me for the Hawks Okay, well, now thinking of it, I maybe should also do that because um, when we go hog hunting, uh, my Parker Python will not do me a, a, a really good favor. Yeah. 
So you could um, just in the meantime give some um, information about that new scope that we got for that uh, for actually all the all the rifles, or is it only the bolt action rifles, or um, also I'm gonna try this out. First. Okay. Okay. I'm just I just show the scope now. That's how it looks. I think it looks really nice. It doesn't have any zoom, but that's not a problem. And okay, let's try this out. If I could also use it on the other Unshoots weapons. Should be should be possible though. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can use it on yeah, it's, every it's called Anschutz a, it's weapon. It's called 12 by 50 millimeter rifle scope, so... And it has a mill dot reticle. Mm -hmm. And um, we were actually, before we started this, um, we have to say this is the day of release of all this fancy stuff. So, um, when we actually... Um, started you know we we first went to the hunter wiki and the forums and tried to find out how that how that works like how it's zeroed in but now thinking of it since the scope is actually um you know suitable for different weapons we actually would have to look at the at the weapon itself to see where where the weapon itself is zeroed in think the information might be there. Mm -hmm. Also something interesting, um, the 223 caliber um, has two designs as we just showed. And um, the first question that we kind of had was um, will it be leveling um, as one weapon or will, if you have both of them, you know, the marble one and the wood wooden one, uh, would it uh, level as two separate weapons, like <laughs> kind of leveling separately, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, actually, um, when you buy the weapon or when you look in the store, there is a information that it will always um, level equally. So it doesn't matter which one you shoot. Uh, if you shoot then the other one, it has the same um, level that you got by shooting the other one. So Did that makes that makes sense of course. Did so you hear this call of the uh, Yes, red now I just heard it. Okay, should we take him down? Yeah, we could actually. Okay. Why not? It might be just a monster. Yeah, maybe. You never know. So you marked already the yeah, I see your waypoint on the feeder. hunter mate, so that's the way to the feeder. Yeah, I can also show the map. Yeah, let's just quickly look at F Fape's map. Okay, here you can see the feeder with 100% attractiveness, and here I have another one. I think it's on 70% or mm. something like that. So we could also check this out, maybe. It's also quite nice, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, good. I think we'll be back when something happens again. Yeah, when the action kicks in. <laughs> okay. Okay. See you in a bit. And we're back. There he is. Oh, yeah. I think we should call him here. Yeah, ju just let's call here one more time, yes. And then we actually move a little bit to the side. Because this is also quite a good technique to do. Mm -hmm. um, to get the animal into, you know, presenting you a broadside. I mean, we do lose sight of it now, but we know that that he's going to check out that spot where we called last. Yeah. So I think we will be perfectly set up for a, for a shot here. And um, 
Yeah, with animals like the red stack, where you don't have a scent spray, that is actually perfect for s you know for a setup like this. You have to do it in the last moment, kind of call and move back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's see how it works out. Um, actually, we would be in perfect bow range, but we do not have a bow with us now. So I, I just think. Oh, there is coming. I can hear him now. Yeah, just think take him. You can. T okay, then I'll yeah, take him. I'm gonna film this kind of. Oh, there he is. Okay. So now you see how this is gonna work out. Just say when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Nice. You dropped him on the spot. Wasn't really difficult. Yeah, that's just, you know, the plan perfectly worked. Yeah. And um, now I also can mention something new that we got is because um, now you could see um, that um, these, um, what is that called in English? Orbs? I think like, so. Yeah, the color of it is is, is um, customized Zebel now. Yeah, you can show it quickly in yeah. the in the options. Okay. Um, so you go just to gameplay and the track color. There you can choose your color. Yeah, if you click that color, you can really mess around with it and find your favorite color for it. Yeah. So that is really cool. And um, I'm gonna take the trophy shot for you. Okay. Want. <laughs> and you got like massive, massive damage right into the engine room. <laughs> right lung, hard left lung. Score cool. 148.857. No, oh, that's not bad. That's a good start to this video. Mm -hmm. And um, just taking a picture. Alright, nice. That was a good one. Yeah. So um, I think we should continue to the feeder now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will be back. Yeah, whenever some action kicks in or when we arrive at the feeder. Yeah, we see us later. Okay, guys, Fabe just spotted something. There's a fox on the field. Yeah, he really just said cool. fox, and we uh, <laughs> immediately stopped. Um, if you want to, I can actually use that caller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, I want to try it out. Oh yeah, and I think so the fox looks really, really cool. That's the first fox I've ever seen in the Hunter. Oh, that's nice. That's a cool thing. So um, yeah, we would uh, we actually plan to go foxing after we uh, check out that feeder. But it looks like we may get into some action before that, and maybe let's l let's just move a little bit, you know, out of the thick wood. Yeah. And so far, when I was looking to my uh, through my binox, he wasn't responding yet. But you know. No, not really could try to call him again. He's still standing there in the middle of the field. Yeah. Yeah, his moving animations are cool. Yeah. I mean, you are actually um, well, the right guy to ask about that because you have seen real foxes in the field, didn't you? Yeah. Um, just to explain that, um, Fabes or Fabi's um, father is a, is a hunter in real life and um, yeah, you actually go hunting with your dad in a, in, in yeah a, a very regular um, basis right yeah that's right so um, fape can um, can tell can tell us a lot about um, 
Whoa, they just spawned in that red deer. I mean, there's a red deer. Yeah. Oh, next to him. Okay. Left from the fox. Okay, I think we should walk a bit in this direction because he doesn't show any dire uh, un any um, movement. Yeah. To us. I mean, I, I will just look down the scope just to show you guys um, what kind of uh, scope that is. So, I think those mill dots are quite useful. Um, but um, as we could not find any information about how that weapon is zeroed in, um, I'm not feeling comfortable <laughs> taking a long range shot right yeah, now. Yeah, me too, because I don't know. Oh no, he's oh great. No, he's is calm. he is he responding now? Yeah, we should oh, go a bit back here, okay. so I can maybe take him on the street or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely your fox because I was actually already. Uh, playing before we uh, started um, this episode and I took already two foxes yeah there he is cool 100 meters okay just stay there I, I have a perfect view if you stay there it would okay. be great and enjoy take him <laughs> whenever you feel comfortable I will oh that's so nice so what do you think of the movement I think it looks very really, uh, really cool and realistic yeah that's cool okay so you're ready yeah I think I want him on the street looks okay. a bit better. Can you see him? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Alright. That was a perfect shot. He uh, went down straight away. Awesome. And the, s the sound of that of that rifle is actually quite loud. I mean, yeah, I also wanted to say that the sound of the weapon is really cool, man. I think. Uh, have you ever heard that 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 caliber shot in real life? Yeah, I heard it, but you know, not the the caliber makes the sound. The weapon makes the sound. Yeah, that's true. But That's actually true. I think it sounds realistic. Oh yeah. Really cool to see a fox. Oh, awesome nice. start. I I'm gonna take this trophy shot for you and um after I will just send you the picture and you can or you can check it out and yeah. edit edit it in for your This would be awesome. Like in in your video so people can see you with your first fox. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a female, I, I think, yeah. It's a female and it has a score of 12.176. Okay. And you got the right lung. So it was a really nice Good. shot. Alright. And the color is actually really nice. I think the one that I shot looked a little bit more dull. And, um... What do you actually think of the size of that one? Of the fox is it is it too big or I think he's a little bit too big but that's like or that's he's like too big but but in this game all animals are way too big I think okay so I think so just just look a little bit more upwards okay. if you see the roe deer and the red fox I think the size between them is good yeah that's okay so um it's a great picture. <laughs> Like with your with that new rifle, really nice. Awesome. Okay then. This was very enjoyable, I have to say. Yeah. A really nice hunting experience. Really so cool. So congratulations, to start. your Thanks. first box. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's just move on to yeah. the feeder. 
see you in a bit. So we just moved a little bit and we got another call of a fox. Yeah, it's just awesome. Um, <laughs> um, so, what's the plan here, Fabe? Maybe, um, I don't know, he's near the feeder so we could... Is it, is it safe or is it not safe? No, it's not safe, I think. We could... Okay. I would say if it's not safe, um, in order for, I you know I don't want to risk spooking like the, the pigs, but I think it it should be safe actually. Should be. Yeah, looking at it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. Kay. From my experience, it's safe to shoot it here, like on the street or something. Yeah, and with with hundred percent attractiveness, I think the hawks will come back after a short yeah. while. I'm very sure that they won't even spook because normally we should be able to drop the fox in his tracks. Yeah. I mean, unless I like flick a ear of it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think it should be safe. So can just call them. If not, it's. But I think it's. I, I'm gonna say it's. Yeah. It's your reserve. It's your decision. No, I. I want to take this fox down. Okay. So um, you you gonna shoot again or no no this time you shoot. All right. Let's hope it's a male now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was it was kind of the direction from that street right. Yeah, I think it was on this little hill. Oh, I think I see him. Can see him? Ah, uh, I'm not sure. Could you? Yeah, I can. Like <laughs> next to that big rock, and now he disappeared. He's he's now coming. Next to that rock, left side of the rock. Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, yeah. cool. How is that actually in real life? Um, when um, fox hunting, do you also l like call them in? Um, you can call them in. Uh, you can hunt them. It's, it's up to you. I would say. Mm -hmm. But but um, I'm just interested because of the, you know, um, how do you shoot it? I mean, do you get like a bro do you really look for a broadside shot or no, do you um, fox with also with from the, the fox? Front? I don't really think you should try. Of course, you always should try to shoot at the lungs, but. Mm -hmm. With the fox, I think it's not a big problem if you hit some something else because you don't eat the meat and. So oh yeah, yeah, okay, I see. So it's it's like it's it's um it's more about getting a a, a nice kill shot. Yeah. Okay, no. Okay, you I think he's, it's a he's female. Rage. It's a female again. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, um, yeah. Okay. Okay. He you also down. dropped on the spot. She, she went down, yeah. Or she, yeah. Woo! Nice. That was awesome. What a start. <laughs> yeah. I mean, to be honest, I did not expect so many foxes up here because... Um, yeah, me too. When you check out the information that you get when um, choosing your starting point and... Um, what's called Müllersteinhütte? Or Müllerwaldhütte? Müllerwaldhütte, I think. Yeah, so um, the information there is um, you get wild boar, you got roe deer, but that's that's not the particular yeah. <laughs> and we information got a about foxes. A red deer and a fox. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the two foxes. Yeah, two honest. foxes. It was a body shot. Score is fourteen point four six five. Nice. So uh, we already got a fox each. Really nice. Okay, just look a little bit to your right side. Yeah, I think that's cool. Wait, I want to see your weapon. So that's good. All right. Great. So I think we could um, film the next two minutes because we're 
next to the feeder. I hope we didn't spook the hawks, but if we spook them, I think it's not a big deal.